for example, um, in this one where Allison is like ready to take the eye of one of Renera's kids I because know. of what happens. Yeah. Ima- just imagine that situation playing out in our day and age. We got to get Billy's eye now. It's the only mm-hmm. thing that's fair. Imagine a mom saying that. I like, know. I would lose my <laughs> at that mom. <laughs> like, that's not okay. You're a grown woman. Your answer can't be to take another eye. That was crazy. No, it was really out of character. I understand the desperation. I didn't like that turn for her. I thought it was a little too much. Acting the way that she did, she has made herself way more of a target. So what her dad said to her before he left was that if Renera assumes the throne, he, he, she's going to come after you or, or your kids won't be safe kind of thing and your family. But at that time, there was no hint of that she had bastard children. They didn't know that at that point when he said that. Yeah, Uh, that's true. But she has become obsessed with that topic since episode six. And the whole episode six and seven, that's all that's on her mind. Allison is like totally about that the whole time. Understandably. And I mean, I guess, but I just, to me, I think it's less like if you were trying to protect yourself from Renera, you, I don't think that she would be the way that she is with her. She's making Renera way more of an enemy than she has to be. If she was friendly with Renera about all of this, I don't think that it would turn out the same way as it will now that she is openly the one who's trying to sh- tell people that they're not her kids. She's openly saying like, oh, maybe the next one will look like you. And I feel like she's the one putting a target on her I back. Guess I, I know that Allison could handle this better. And I think... The obsession isn't helping her. I, I, I do agree with that. But I would also say, I don't know what she could do better. How should she handle this? I, I think, like I said, I think that she should have been on uh, Rhaenyra's good side. I think that by being on Rhaenyra's good side... If Just wait it out. Like Wait it out. Will, let yeah. someone else <clears throat> say it. You're, you're constantly trying to get this to surface. But to me, it seems like it's because you want Rhaenyra to go down. Like, you're upset that she sacrificed her honor. That's still how I view Allison. And I like Allison better. I would prefer her mm-hmm. as mm-hmm. someone in my life than Rhaenyra. Um, but sure. at the same time, I feel like the director is trying to show Allison as a Karen. I feel like she's yes. trying, they're trying to show her as someone who is just putting her foot in someone else's business yes. all the time. In the last two episodes, that's all she's done. It's all she's done the last two episodes. Yeah. I think, of course, you're going to be upset when your kid gets stabbed in the eye. And I don't even think it's that crazy for her to suggest that they take another eye. I do think you're right that they are trying to show her a bit like a Karen. And I'm not totally buying it. I, mm-hmm. I'm, i you know, it's one of those things where we had the 10 year time jump and... I think they they really did like an incredible job connecting all the dots. So we feel like we didn't miss a lot. But one of the things we did miss is for 10 years, Allison did what I think a lot of people are, are expecting her to do right now. Ugh, it's tough. It's tough. What I, I, I guess I want to say a prediction because the mm-hmm. way I see this going is um, Allison, I think, is going to end up being the biggest player of destruction in this story i think that it's going to continue to evolve i think that her uh relationship uh with the strong uh laris strong um which in this episode she finally says like hey i appreciate what you did killing harwin strong now she's saying like she appreciates it and she's saying like i'm gonna need you again i'm gonna need someone like you Something else is going to happen with her. She's going to sick that guy on someone else. It's going to be another I mean, brutal thing. Um, I, I don't think that Renera will stop being Renera, but I think that Allison's character is evolving to be more mm, bloody, I guess. like I, I think that she's going to attack them. I, I just don't see how her bastard children, Renera's bastard children, endangers Allison still. I, I really think that the danger would be for her and her kids, Renera and her kids. Renera just murdered her husband. Well, she thinks. Yeah. Yeah. Um, again, but that's her family. I, I think the danger is all in Renera's court that she has bastard children. I feel like if anything, 
you know, if people find out about it, it's just going to make Allison's kids the heirs. And that's why I think her big, well, actually, I don't, I don't think it's her biggest motivation for telling everyone. I think her biggest motivation is an honor thing. I think she's all about duty and honor. Agreed. And I think that it really bothers her that Allison or or Mm -hmm. that Renera hasn't been honorable and that she has been sleeping around and, and not uh, I think doing that, her duty. Yeah, I totally agree. And I think that yeah. that's her main motivation. I feel, and that's how I see the Karen in her. I feel like they're just trying to show her as someone who's like, this is someone else's flaw. It's affecting you in a sense, but you're obsessing over it because you want the other person to have to be held accountable for their sins or for their problems that's how i see allison and i think that now that this happened with the kids it's past that and now it's like a literal like i can want all of you dead i think both sides at the end of this episode are like we're going to war like i'm over Mm. this like you're not getting away with this i think both sides are at that point i i could that totally might be what happens i could that very very well might be what happens my prediction is Renera and and Damon kill everybody. I think Allison's gonna die. I think her kids are gonna die. I think this will happen very shortly after Viserys passes away. Viserys mm-hmm. might start being poisoned again now that Otto's back. Maybe Otto was the reason he was so sick while Otto was there. And then, you know, like uh, that would be interesting. That'd that would be, cool be interesting. If we that. I'm wondering if that's you know it might be too obvious. Like maybe Otto wouldn't do that at this point. Like. Viserys is pretty old. He's kind of losing it a little bit. He's uh, a little aloof. And But I say that mm-hmm. to say, I think Viserys is going to pass away. And I mm-hmm. think Rhaenyra and Daemon are going to kill everybody. So huh. that's... So I think next episode, Viserys will be dead. I think, yeah, um, that I, That's sense. my thought. And I do think that um, Rhaenyra and, and Daemon will unleash some fire but how i (laughs) how i see it going down is i think that uh they're gonna try to retreat and protect their own right now that's how i view renera and damon's uh pairing i think that they're gonna go back to dragonstone but that's unclear um i'm thinking that they're gonna just try to hide until viserys dies and then they're just gonna come back and be like oh yeah well we're king because i'm the heir and then I think that's when uh, Allison is going to do some kind of ploy, some some play to uh, take them out, or at least the children. I'm not sure, though. We'll see. It's interesting Allison, because mm. it could really go anywhere from here. But I do think it is a big piece of the puzzle that Eamon has the giant dragon now. Um, and I think that that might play a big part in the upcoming battles. For sure, that's huge. That's huge. It's hard to exaggerate how big that is. Mm-hmm. Him leaving with that dragon, like, especially sure. because of who he seems to be. Like, he seems to be a nutcase, total mm-hmm. nutcase. I don't like how demented Allison and Viserys' kids are. Mm, I, same. I, I, I do want to reiterate this because I'm not on Team Black. Mm-hmm, like mm-hmm. I 100% would be rooting for Allison or Viserys. But like you said, situation. nobody's black and white. Um, like, exactly. Mm-hmm, the, every mm-hmm. like Viserys is a good king, sure, but there's so many flaws to his character. Yes. Um, he's yeah. just such a pushover. Sometimes he's he's blinded by things. Like you could go on and on. Um, but I think something that's really interesting for me coming up is just like. I, I think Allison is just going to go full blown. I think that's what that conversation was with uh, Laris. I, I really think that she's just going to be like oh, this honey. noise. Like I am, I don't care. I'm going to kill you guys. Um, but again, I think some of what she's going to do is justified. I, I don't think it's all out of the I'm blue. like hoping for that actually mm. in a way, in a way yep. I, I think the war is inevitable and I'm just, I'm team green because I'll bring it back to the kids again. Like those two sons are like, I mean, they look like the product of incest babies. They look like if Damon and Renera had babies, do. Yeah, like that's what they should look sure. like. What is up with these funky looking kids? Why are, why is he a little whiny boy about the pig thing? Like, ah, uh, they're annoying. It's too much. I, that, that's one of my uh, least favorite things. The, the characterization of the two sons, they have a very elderly father. And I, I know that that 
there are some problems in there, but like we we haven't had any scenes between them actually. Have we seen Viserys with his kids at all? I don't really. His remember grandkids. Any. His grandkids. No, they are. No, his they're kids. his kids. Jesus. He's just old as. <gasps> Uh, yeah, like I forget. Like, no, he's uh, the grandfather. <laughs> yeah, I know. I do that a lot too. But uh, we haven't had any interactions between them, and maybe there, that's there's a point to that. Maybe he was an absent father. Um, mm. But you know, they just yeah, again, like they're really out there. And... I mean, Allison is beautiful. I'll just say that, and her kids are super ugly. So that's weird. <laughs> um, Rhaenyra's kids are much better looking kids. <laughs> are much more healthy looking acting talking the way they all defended each other yeah. in that fight i don't know if they're doing the time jump this coming episode i do not watch the previews so we'll see we are going to see them grown up though at some point oh there is another time jump oh yeah dude oh, there's going to be time jumps for the next 150 years damn i didn't know that like their the plan is to connect with the birth of daenerys so we're still 150 years behind a hundred, no, more, 160 some years behind the Game of Thrones timeline. So these characters, we're, we're going to keep time jumping for sure. Mm. Um, I, they might slow down though, because maybe they'll have, you know, I don't know how long they want the show to go on for, but it, if Game of Thrones was eight seasons. So, you know, maybe they'll slow down after this season with the time jumps. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. We'll see. Ah, poor Viserys, man. I'm not saying he's handling the situation A+, plus, but, like, poor guy. I just feel for him. Yep. Um, we I'll tell you what, someone's going to die. Multiple <sighs> people are going to die. Oh, my God. There's going to be more incest. There's going to be more children fights, hopefully. God, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I hope um, that we don't have another time jump yet, because I would just love more dagger fights with children. Before they get mm. all grown up. Well, even if these ones grow up, they'll have kids. <laughs> yes. There you go. There's always more kids to fight. In always this show. the upside. All right. Well, it's good chat. Ashley says it must kill her to know she will always be second, and it just brings me the utmost of joys. Oh my god. I definitely don't feel that way. No. It was sad. You know, it's, it's a sad thing. It's sad for on both ends because, uh, you know, obviously it hurts. Allison, but you know Viserys too. It, he's always thinking about her. Mm -hmm. Last one. Me anytime Allison opens her mouth. Jeez. I know. Damn. This was like all these uh, tweets I screenshotted. I wasn't picking through them. Like literally, this was like each one. It was. I just went bing bang boom. Like the first ten I saw were these. It's just like, damn. So. That's the word on the street, mm. but I I think Damon still controls the King's Guard. Or you know, I wonder how many of the King's Guard are holdover from when he was their commander, because mm. he might still have influence there. It's possible. We'll see. All right, what's the prediction on this? It looks like now that Rhaenyra and Damon are together, they each have a dragon, and then we have. Uh, her, his daughters. One of them has a dragon. Damon's daughter. Mm. Uh, both of Rhaenyra's kids have dragons, or her two older sons. And there's now both of Allison's kids have dragons, and one of them is a huge dragon. Huge. If it comes to dragon fights, just dragon v dragon, which side wins? I think Amon's dragon should not be underestimated. Agreed. I, I mean, it's, it's like, like two versus four dragons, but that's a big dragon. It's a big dragon. You I'm know what they need? They need a ship with like a big harpoon on it, and then they need to surprise attack from the sea. Like, you know, just mm. wait until they're just floating in the ocean, and, and then they'll just come out from behind an island and just attack it. And... Hopefully the dragon flying in the air won't see the ship with the harpoon on it because it's in the air. You know, you'd think the dragon would see the boat with the harpoon. <laughs> Maybe the final scene with Viserys will be a dragon battle and he's on dragon back. Old Viserys. How cool would that be? What a way to go. If you could choose a death, dragon battle would be high on the list. 
I mean, imagine, imagine that. How about uh, next time we'll have a very clear, we'll break down who's got what. Because this is basically like, mm. you know, Taiwan's got nukes. Iran's got nukes. Wow, you went way heavier than me. I was thinking like high stakes Pokemon cards, but <laughs> <laughs> they're playing Dragon Go. Family's oh, playing like Dragon Go. Go. Yeah, yeah, dude. So we'll see. That that is important though. We'll we'll do a little breakdown of who who's got what for dragons. That's the uh, the weapons of mass destruction of this sure this is. world. So all right, we'll see you later. Bye bye. And until next time. Use your head.